In this video, we're going to see an example of how to do input and output on a character by character basis. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to create an integer for my input character, and we'll talk about why that is in a moment. I'll create another character variable C, and then I'll prompt the user to enter a series of characters. So after I do that, in a loop, I'm going to read one character at a time using the get char function. And I'll print out the character that just, or the value that just was read in. And we'll do that while inchar is not equal to in. So we're reading input, and then we write, out, write that output. So let's compile this and run it. So we have some errors. Wrong character there. And we're missing a parentheses there. So that looks good. Ah, that should be a single quote, not a double quote. So we haven't used C yet, but that's fine. We'll use it in a moment. So there's my characters, and you can see it enters those values. Now you may wonder why we used an input or an integer as our to hold the re return value of get char, and that's because get char returns an int type. And the reason for that is get char has to hold any character value, but it also needs to hold an end of file character. Let's add another loop. Or actually, let's put let's put a comment here explaining what gitchar does. So now, in our second loop, we're going to use getc, not gitchar. So getc, as you can read in the comment. It works just like getchar, but we're going to specify where we want to read that from, what file we want to read it from. Since we're reading from input or user input, we're going to use the standard in file. So we're going to Set inchar equal to get C with standard in, or get C from standard in. We're going to put C, which does the same as the output equivalent of, of get C. We need to specify what character we want to put and where we want to put it. So we're going to put it on the standard output. And we're going to do that while inchar is not equal to a new line. Now, keep in mind in both of these loops, and that needs to be a single quote, in both of these loops, we actually print the new line character before we stop the loop. And that's intentional because we do want to have that line. Uh, we do want to have that line feed. Otherwise, we would need to put a printf with a new line at the end of the loop. But in this case, since we know we're going to stop when we hit and hit a new line, we can go ahead and print that before we check, because if we print it, fine, we have the new line in our output. We wound up not using C, 
So we'll go ahead and delete that. Here are some characters. And you'll notice, looks like I misspelled some things, that's fine. Here, we print these out as characters, that's what put C does. So it's different from when we print as integers, because remember that the character primitives like this all have integer equivalents and they're treated like an integer. So whatever the ASCII value is for a new line, that's what we're checking for here. That's why we can use an int or a char. But we're using an int here because this could return the end of file character, which may not be an actual printable character. 